Hello everyone, this is Delay and welcome to my tutorial video. Now in this video you will be seeing the continuation of a tutorial series that me and Billy the Crown have been doing. If you haven't seen the video in question before, please click on the annotation above or check out the link in the description below. But basically I'll give you a bit of a summarisation. What Billy will have done is showed you how to use a program called Bandicam, which you can use to record Let's Plays and Bandicam is a lot like Fraps. It records it on the fly and it also compresses the video files down for you. So it basically takes the render time down a notch. The trick I'm going to show you is how to take your video you've recorded in Bandicam, clean the audio up, work on the audio, and then add it back into the video without having to do lengthy renders. Now we all hate having to sit there for hours waiting for our videos to render. You want to try and get them up as quick as you can, don't you? So if we go into my file, my folder, I've got my video file. Now as you can see, all you can hear at the moment is the game says. You can't really hear my commentary. That's because your video players won't pick it up. So for this tutorial you are going to need a program like Sony Vegas which can pick up two audio tracks. I'll explain more in a second and I'll also recommend Audacity as your external audio editor. But what I'll show you first is Vegas. So first of all you need to make sure when you install it you set it up correctly. So what you do, you go into Options, Preferences, then you go into Audio, and then when you're on the Audio section, you'll see a section called Preferred Audio Editor. Now what you need to do is you go on, you browse through, through your program files, and you find your program. So in this case, it's C, Program Files x86, Audacity 1.3, or Audacity, whatever it is, then OK that, click on Open, apply that, don't change the else there, so do OK. And that will set it up so Audacity becomes your external audio editor. So, I'm going to say no to that. I'm just waiting for that. OK, what we'll show you now. So, here's my video, what we just had. So, all you do, hold the left mouse button down, drag it over, and then, as you can see, you see the little boxes where the arrows are. So get the box to be all the way to the left, drop it in place. Of course, it will take a bit of time to do the peaks. Wait for that to do. I'll pause the video while the peaks form, and when we come back, you'll see that it'll be ready. Okay, we're back, and there you go. So now you can see on this video, if I play it a bit, that does some insane damage. Hear that? No, there's my commentary. Ignore the quality of the video because that's just the video editor messing up. The video quality is fine. So what you do, uh, I think, let me get this right to make sure i got the right information. That does some insane damage. So I'll undo that. You'll find the top layer in Vegas is your commentary. So all you do is you click on the commentary once and you see how it highlights red. Click on it once, doesn't matter where, right click on that, go to open copy and audio editor, it'll do a bit of magic. Your video audio editor will open on the right hand side. Now one thing you'll get this window that comes up, it'll ask you if you want to make a copy of the files before editing or whatever, always have it to make a copy of the files. It's going to basically save the file so if anything goes wrong or it corrupts, you're safe. So say OK. It'll say importing. Okay, and then here we go. So this should be. Okay, no, that's the game audio. Okay, I got that wrong. I goofed. But don't close it anyway. Keep that open. Put that to one side for the moment. But for the sake of argument, do a copy of each one, like I just did. Right click on the track, export it. Just wait for that to do its magic. And what I'll do while that does that, I'll pause the video again. So when we come back, it'll be done. Okay, now as you can see, I'm back at the screen. Hello everyone. Woot. So now we've got my two audio files. So the top one is the game sounds. And okay. the bottom Hello, one everyone. is your delayed. commentary. Well so you're good. 
So what you want to do, put your, bring your commentary to the front. Okay, so that's what we're going uh, to do. This is the line, and well, we're going to get some PvP on the way. This is the silver. So I'm not sure if you can hear it, but I'll go right to the end because I've got a couple of seconds where there's a bit of a noise, and unless you know, you can't hear it. Now, did you hear that? There's a bit of noise. Now you can get rid of the noise. So this is an extra step which will help improve your audio quality to make people happier because sometimes a lot of noise can bug people or the other frequencies can give you headaches and stuff. So what you can do, you can remove the noise. So what we'll do, scroll over a bit of the noise at the end and then what you can do, if you go into effect and then you click on noise removal, Basically what noise removal does, it allows you to take a sample where there's just noise, just you know, like short, whatever, and it'll help you clear it. So the first thing you do is you click get noise profile, that'll go away and I'll figure out that's just noise. And then do control and A, that'll select the whole file, and then what we'll do, go into noise removal again, click OK, it'll do a bit of work. So I'll just wait for that to time down. So it'll clean the audio out so there's no noise throughout the whole video. And if you don't change the default settings, usually the audio isn't that much, it doesn't get any worse. As long as you don't mess with it, your voice stays the same. Sometimes if you do too much of a sequence, too strong, the voice will sound tinny, which you don't want. So listen now. It's coming up and well guys, keep on trucking. And I'll but listen, see? I mean, there's a little tiny bit, but it's very, you can't even notice it unless you really are listening to it. But now there's nothing there. So there you go, your audio is done. So now, you're gonna, you're, the next thing we're going to do is get this audio into there. So what we'll do, on your commentary, which you've just cleaned, go to Tracks, Add New Stereo Track. Then you'll see that I'm selected on there. Click this little button here, that'll take you to the start, and then go on to your game sounds, and then do Control A and Control C, or go Control A for copy, to select it all, Control C to copy, and then come on to your audio second video, the second track rather, and do edit and paste. So and now. Okay, hello everyone, this is Dulane, and well, there you go. All your audio, okay, hello everyone, this is Dulane, is perfectly in sync, cleaned up, and together. So the next thing you do now, what my dog messes about, is you go into File, and Export. Now where's my folder? Go to the folder where you've got your, all your videos, the video you want to do. Then just save. I'll say yes in this instance because I need because I've already done it. So just do that. You'll get a screen come up like this. You haven't got to do anything on there. Click OK. You're, and it will ask you, it will warn you, your tracks have been mixed down to stu two stereo channels in the exported file. What that's going to do is going to squash them together and it will be one vial. So all we do is click OK. It'll go ahead and export it. And then what we'll do is we've got one more step to go. Now, this step is going to save you a lot of time and a lot of trouble because what it'll do, it'll enable you just to attach the audio. So, unless you're going to be, you know, doing extra editing on top, this is, you know, this is what all you'll need to do. But there are other things you can do, to like add intros and outros without having to edit. If you want me to do a tutorial on that, please let me know and I'll do that at some point for you. So what you need to do, another program you need to get, hold on, go on to Google, look for a program called Virtual Dub. It's virtualdub.org, so go into Downloads. Basically, download the file, download the 32-bit the one's fine, because you don't need to worry too much about power. So download that, 
download it to a folder, extract it to a folder because it will be a zip file. So where are we? So extract all your stuff as you would, extract to specified folder. So I'll put it into, I'll make a new folder E. Hold on. I didn't do that right. Extract to E. And just, you know, put it, doesn't matter what the folder's called, as long as you've got the folder. So then you go into your folder. Virtual dub, ignore my mess, I've got tons of files. And then click on vdub.exe. And nothing will happen. Click on virtual dub, sorry. Then all you do is go back to your folder. Now where's your folder? Go back to your folder where your file your video is. Drag your video, just again, left click and hold on my computer's trialing me right now. Drag it over to the video program, to virtual dub. Click OK if you get a message, that'll be fine. Then all you do, virtual dub is easy to use, it's very powerful, it's very quick, and it's good for very simple jobs like this. All you do, first thing you need to do is go into video, and you'll see all these different modes. All you need to do for video is the direct stream copy. What direct stream copy does, basically, means that you will not do any re-renders, it will not re-encode it, it will not do anything at all, it will leave the video as is. Full processing mode is when you can have it re-render. I won't go into how to do that because that's all complicated, there's a lot there's a, there's a lot to see that, so we won't worry about that. So just do direct, direct stream copy for now. So, and then you go into audio, because what you're going to do now is you're going to take off the audio that's already enough connected to this video, and put in the one we just made, the WAV file. So go audio from other file. Now, point to where you put the audio. Now where did I put my audio? I forgot. <laughs> Hold on. I'm going to pause the video a second, and when you come back I'll have the, the audio file ready for you so you can see it. Never mind, it's here. So there's my audio file that was in that folder. Click on open. And what that does, it tells the program, okay, put this audio file onto this file. So what you do then, all you're going to do is go into file, save as AVI, save it wherever you want to save it. In my case, save it in that folder. Just rename it, something like, I don't know. So in my case it's SWOTOR, PVP, edited, you know, something that that's good for you. Click on save, and then you'll get a screen like this, it'll wind down. So again, I will pause, and once you come back you'll see it's complete. So basically just wait for this to run down, and then there you go, you're done. So we're nearly close to finishing. It doesn't take too long, but as you can see, it's only going to take about a minute and 15 seconds to do it. And it looks like it, it doesn't do anything extra. It just basically it adds the file that you've done all that work to. And makes it into a new video. So in a second, he says there's a good Skype up. We'll load the video up. Okay, hello everyone. This is Dulane. And well, we're going to get some PvP underway. This is the Silver War, war Zone. Uh, as you can see, about my server is, I can... we are good. I'm under fire, I'm gonna die. Shit. And see how the good that audio is, there's no sinking yeah. issues, nothing at all. Bandy and I am see your watermarks there as it's supposed to be. And there you go. And there's your perfectly good video, and then you can chuck that straight onto YouTube. So as you can see, the file size there is 1.234 megabot 1.23 gig. Where the original which is in all this crap <laughs> is the original was is was whatever okay I've lost it but take my word for it the file sizes are marginally different maybe a little bit bigger because you've had an audio change but that's all there is to it so I hope that guy was in helpful for you let me know how you, how you found it. if you have any problems don't hesitate to contact me in the comments and you know support both my my video and Billy's channel 
and that would be great and I hope you guys found that video informative uh, look forward to hearing from you guys thanks for watching and I will see you soon thanks very much for watching guys